Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, as you can see, I've been making these videos for a while now, but that was mostly on Yuzu emulator. And now obviously Yuzu was banned. So I'm starting to make more and more Riot Jinx videos. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial right away. So the things you'll need are the emulator itself, obviously, the game you want to play. In this case, it's gonna be Pokemon Sword or Shield. The latest prod keys or title keys. And because this is Ryujinx emulator, we're gonna also need the firmware. Now for any help with this stuff, join my Discord server, link is down below and check the description. Once you have all these things, the first thing we have to do is open Ryujinx emulator. Ryujinx.exe, you run it and it will tell you keys not found. Now this is normal, just press okay and close Ryujinx and in this bar up here or in your Windows search bar type the following percentage app data percentage and that will bring you to basically this folder and in here go to roaming and then type Ryujinx find it in this folder here and in here you want to go under system and where this says profiles basically this is where you paste the prod and title keys so you drag them from your downloads into this folder. And as you can see, they are there. Now we open Ryujinx again. And as you can see, the error is gone. And the next thing we wanna do is install the firmware. So to do that, you go to tools, install firmware, install firmware from XCI or zip. Here you want to select your firmware zip file. So don't extract it and just press okay. It will prompt a confirmation. System version 18.0.0 will be installed. Do you want to continue? We're clicking yes. Successfully installed, press okay. And after this, we want to see our games, obviously. Now to show our games, you have to do the following. Go to options, settings, and then here where it says game directories, we're going to add the directory, AKA the folder that the games are in. So you press add, and then you find, again, the folder that your games are in. In my case, it was called Yuzu Games. Rest in peace, Yuzu. Um, so select this folder and press apply and okay. And in the background, as you can already tell, the games are all added. Now, before we start up the game, there's some very important settings I want to show you. So go into options and settings one more time. In here, let's first go to input. Now I'm gonna be using this Xbox One controller. So what you want to do is under player one, input device, click refresh just in case and choose Xbox Series X controller in my case, whichever controller you have connected. Now technically this should work out of the box. Instead of Joy-Con pair, I always like to choose pro controller and hit apply. What I like to do is switch the buttons to the correct buttons on my controller because it gets confusing, but this is personal preference. Now next, we're going to system. In here, you can change the time to whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it on USA and make sure VSync is checked. Now, if you have a lot of crashes at boot, you might wanna try ignore missing services, but for now, I'm gonna keep it unchecked. Now under CPU, keep it on host unchecked and under graphics, this is where it gets very important. Now, if you have a proper GPU, like a card from Nvidia or an AMD card, make sure to check Vulkan. If you are on a new Intel HD or a new integrated graphics on AMD, you probably want to try OpenGL. Give both a try for sure. But if you have a better GPU, make sure it is selected here, not your integrated GPU, but your proper GPU. Now don't touch any of these settings. Now shader cache basically makes your game less laggy the more you play. Now for resolution scale, I'm going to use 2X because I have a 1440p monitor and I know my system can run it. But I recommend you stay at native just to test and then go higher if you're having decent FPS. Same goes for these other settings, anti-aliasing. I'm going SMMA Ultra and scaling filter. I always like to choose nearest, which is the nearest neighbor. Anisotropic filtering, I'm gonna put it on 16X and graphics backend multi-threading. This depends on your GPU. I'm gonna keep it on auto actually, just to be safe. Hit apply again. Now under audio, I wouldn't mess with this, but here you can change your volume, which is pretty nice. And under network, this is for multiplayer. I have made a whole guide on this, so check that out. Now under logging, once everything is great and doesn't crash, disable all of these logs because it's gonna improve your performance. So if you're having a bit of FPS issues, but for the rest it works fine, uncheck all of these and hit apply and okay. And now you should be good to run your game. Also, if you want to launch your games in full screen, under options, 
check this box that says start games in full screen mode. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. Again, if you need any help with anything, join my Discord server where we have multiple people that try to help. Obviously read the rules of the channels. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other guides if you're interested in other games. And uh, peace out, guys. Peace.